Killers of Quara King planned murder in Bir Palo and demand 100 million ransom for Monarch's wife. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we we'll post our JC news update. Please click on the notification bell. Fresh details have emerged regarding the murder of Olu Koro of Koro in Kwara State, Oba Olu Shegun Aremu Kol, revealing that the assailant planned the killing in a pop popularly called Ebia Palo in the town. The monarch Irita senior military officer was shot dead in his palace on Thursday night and his wife along with two other residents were abducted. According to sources, the killer spent several hours in a beer palo before luring a sales girl to lead them to the palace. The suspecting girl took them to the monarch residence where the excellent carried out the attack. The brother of a late monarch, Mr. Delaja Aremo, disclosed that the assailant shot Oba Aremo cold after he refused to comply with the order to stand up and accompany them. He told the Punch that Adilaja, who spoke in a telephone interview with Saturday Punch, noted that the assailant shot his brother dead for refusing to follow the orders to stand up and come with them. He said, I am his immediate younger brother and I live very close to the village. Immediately, gun shot your head in the palace. I was contacted and told. The gunmen came into the palace and met him, the monarch, and asked him to stand up. They wanted to abduct him. He refused to get up, saying that nobody would command him like that. He refused to take others from unknown people, so they shot in the air to scare him. But he was not afraid. Of course, they knew they had met a stubborn person, and that was how they shot him. This was what the house boy told us. The house boy bolted out of a palace through the back door when my brother was shot, but he saw all that had transpired. Meanwhile, the abductors have demanded a ransom of 100 million naira for the release of the kidnapped victims, including the monarch's wife. The issue of a 48-hour deadline for the payment, threatening to harm the captive if the money was not provided within the stipulated time. This is what I'm going to say. Why everybody is coming out to call the bandits, the bandits, the bandits, the terrorists, the terrorists, the Boko Haram, the Boko Haram. This is what I'm going to say. It is very essential that a country is security, as in their security, our security sector is very strong. That a country is peaceful, that there is no security crisis. Do you know why? I've said it before. Let me use this scenario. I have been using it for a very long time. You know, if you come to a town that is peaceful hmm, and something happens, if you come to a town, let's, let's liken Nigeria to a town. If it's peaceful, everybody does anything. You know, everybody is, you know, care, as in, you know, going carefree. Nobody is, everybody is living in harmony. If something happens, if a crime happens, it will be easier to trace the crime. It will be easier to trace the crime because it is a peaceful town. You will not compare it to what's it called? The, let me use the not now. The not where all sort of things happen. You don't know which one. They will tell you today that armed men attack the people of Kaduna. Oh, um, hats men attack the people of Sokoto. Do you understand? You will not be able to differentiate. In fact, in some cases, people who want to, who want to commit evil, who want to commit a crime, they find it okay. Since this town is already, you know, there's already, it is not peaceful. Let us go there and commit a crime. It will not be easy to trace back to us, and that is true. That is why even in the south, is that time when there was security crisis when as the security crisis is growing and growing you know you will not know the particular group in every society peace is supposed to be paramount security is supposed to be you know very very okay so now why the bandits yes the bandits 
you know, they, 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 of course, they commit crime. They go from place to place. They kill people. There are people who have hidden under the umbrella that, okay, since the government have refused or since the government is not chasing after these people, they are not treating these people with iron fist. They are not stamping their foot on the ground and making it known that, see, oh, these people, oh, you are not going to be getting what you want. Since it's like the government is playing alongside them. Eh, let us go and do our own now. This is what is happening. So some people are coming out to commit crime under the umbrella of there is a crime before. That is why it is very essential that every state, every country is peaceful. So that if a crime, if a crime happens, you can easily, after you trace, tra you trace, trace, you can trace now. This is where it is coming from. But if a crime, if it's a country is not peaceful, if there is calamity everywhere, you will not be able to trace. Anybody can come, commit a crime and disappear. And they're going to call anybody. So a country like Nigeria, like we are so, when it comes to security, the government does not care one bit about us. Anybody can come, commit a crime and disappear. And they are going to call, the police will tell you today that there's another person that committed a crime. Now, I cannot even imagine what this man's wife was feeling. First of all, they killed her husband and then they carried her away and they're demanding 100 million naira. They're demanding 100 million naira. <laughs> now, wow. Sincerely, it be as it gets. The woman is mourning her husband and she's also scared for her own life. It is not a good place to be. Sincerely, it is not a good place to be at all. I cannot even imagine. Eh? Do you know the trauma that comes with being kidnapped? First of all, if you are kidnapped, you are not thinking of, you know, as a human being. Eh? As a human being, you would, you would know, how, how do I even put it now? As a human being, you would not want to. As, an, as a human being, you wake up in the morning, you, you feel free, you take your bait, you brush, you know, you take care of yourself. You don't have the opportunity. If you want to go and wee wee, if you're a human being, you go and wee wee. If you want to, you know, just the convenience, you know, ease yourself. Answer the call of nature. If it is wee wee, if it is urine, if it is physics, you can do it. If you are kidnapped, you don't have the. <laughs> You don't know the trauma. It is not a good thing. The government needs to look into this. And I'm calling them. When I say the government, I'm not saying the federal. State government, it is time for them to stand up. It is high time we start to be holding these people like the collar. But we hold them for shit. If they are not going to be able to provide security of life and property, whether you are a governor, whether even you are a counselor, down to a counselor, you have to be so concerned about the wealth of the people that they see it in their action that no, this person is really trying. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.